It's crossed continents to be here, and today the M is making its all singing, Ooh. all dancing, star studded debut. And my honest reaction? Utterly gobsmacked. Charles, thanks for the love. This is weird, isn't it? To the proto team for being happy single de Mayo. Viewing the tabletop sized box is like watching a 3D movie without the glasses, but with shrunken characters and objects appearing like they're physically inside. Oh, well, hello Where there! Oh, hi! When Spencer uh, interviewed me, I showed him the non working prototype. It was only a vision, uh, but here I am beaming into an actual working device. I can't believe I'm actually speaking to you now live in LA. I'm actually not a hologram. I'm really in this thing. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> we wanted to go from the boardroom and the conference room into the living room. You know, you shouldn't have to be a millionaire or celebrity or even a digital resurrection of a late legend. This should be so, you know, Grandpa and Timmy can communicate whether they're 10 miles away or 10,000 miles away. You're looking a lot smaller than I recall. When a you know, a volumetric, real size person, even shrunk down into a tabletop sized version of a person, materializes into a space. There's a, just a much more emotional connection that just doesn't exist when you're just chest up on a flat 2D display. This is sort of like if Zoom and being there had a baby. It's the real empty space within the box, the shadows on the inside walls, and the reflections that create the illusion of physical presence. Oh, Paris Hilton. So excited and proud to be a part of this. And I'm looking at Paris's eyes, and she's looking back into mine. And wherever I am looking around the device, we're maintaining eye contact. A trick, thanks to the box's depth. What about that physical connection that you have with people when you meet them for the first time or for a business meeting. People are no longer getting on an airplane and traveling from city to city to city and spreading jet fuel all over the earth. As we're well aware, video calls can be temperamental, with even the slightest of delays putting us off. But this is fairly slick, even whilst hotspotting over 4G on my phone. We've gotten the, the transmission to around 200 milliseconds, which perceptively is instantaneous to anybody interacting. Many holographic devices, as you've seen, the acquisition is super complicated. It requires multiple cameras, multiple angles, a chroma key device. Uh, we're able to achieve a holographic transmission with one camera. Today, David is being captured in his professional studio, but they're working on an app so people can record themselves from their smartphones, and eventually they want the M to be able to do the recording itself. Its front-facing camera could be very smart indeed. We have technology uh, that's being deployed very soon uh, to do automatic demographic and age recognition, so we can even understand if you're a male, female, your age range and serve you content to that effect. It'll cost around two grand when it hits the mass market as early as next month. But Proto is already working with big brands to help them flog stuff and is also entering the health and education sectors. They're using it so doctors can beam in and train future healthcare providers how to treat and diagnose people. They're teaching students in multiple universities at the exact same time. David, thank you so much for joining me. All right, beam you later. <laughs>